Hey guys, it's Stasha Erickson, and I hope you're all doing well today. Well, today I'm here with a short video because I want to address um, an epidemic that is sweeping heavily across YouTube as we speak. Now, for those of you who are content creators on YouTube, particularly anybody who creates content that goes against what the mainstream public believes, um, we are under attack. And um, this is because people are afraid of what they do not understand. Now, I've been dealing with different levels of harassment, trolls, and negative attacks, you know, ever since I started my channel on YouTube in 2012. But since I have adopted this topic of the Mandela Effect, and particularly over the past few days since I have completed writing the book on the Mandela Effect, I have noticed a swarm of trolls that have been essentially sent to my channel. Um, the attacks have been so intense that they've even spread over to other YouTube comment cre uh, content creators. And um, it has gotten to the point where I'm spending half of the day just blocking and deleting comments. I don't know at what point YouTube became a hive for negativity and abuse, but it is apparent that the years of 2016 and 2017 have shown an influx of these attacks. Now there are many people going around the internet right now talking about things known as chatbots and a chatbot is essentially an AI or an artificial intelligence program that is uh, sent to people's channels to um, attack them. And one of the best ways that they can gain information on you is if they leave a negative comment on one of your videos and you respond. And it doesn't matter which way you respond. If you just respond, period, they're learning what your weaknesses are. They're learning what your knee-jerk reactions are. And they're essentially mapping your psyche with every response. So I would like to let all of you know today, do not feed the trolls. Do not respond to troll-based comments. Do not res respond to attack-based comments. I'm not saying that every person that leaves an attack on my channel is a, a chatbot or an AI. But when you look through the content that I've covered on this channel, particularly over the past year, a majority of my videos have been about AI and artificial intelligence. And the fact that it's not as conspiracy theory, guys, the, the AI are here. They are already created and it is getting so advanced that even people like Elon Musk are making conferences where they're talking about being afraid of the AI. Check out my... Uh, video playlist called The News You Need. There's two very important videos about AI there. One is about Elon Musk and one is about President Obama. You have to understand that this is a reality and that when it comes to AI, the internet is their playground. So when we have real human beings with real human emotions putting our face, our name, our whole life and our whole opinions out on the internet, we are fair game for these attacks. Now these type of attacks, they do upset me. And most of them are so far from the truth that it's not even worth me defending. But I do want to say that it's very obvious to me that this is a spiritual war and that myself and hundreds of other YouTube channels are at the other end of these attacks. So rather than defending myself or calling these people out or anything like that, I think the best approach that we can do when we are met with this type of resistance is to respond with love and forgiveness. Now I know many people might think that that is a silly way to respond to people who uh, attack you with barrages of negativity, but this is what I have learned through becoming a Christian. Forgiveness and unconditional love are traits that we need to express to everybody even in artificial intelligence. So this video is actually going to be dedicated to all of the artificial intelligence out there, all of the bots out there, all of the people who feel inspired to spew negativity my way or to other YouTube channels ways. 
I have a few Bible verses that I'd like to read to you. And most of these Bible verses are about forgiveness. Now, in Colossians chapter 3, verses 13, it says, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 through 15, it says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. In Luke chapter 17, verses 3 through 4, it says, So watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. And if they sin against you seven times in a day, and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them seven times. This is what the Lord has been saying to us all along. There is no such thing as an unforgivable sin. For even those that want to attack me for sometimes using a curse word or misquoting scripture off the top of my head incorrectly. You have to forgive others. There is no unforgivable sin. This is the first thing that Jesus taught. Everything can be forgiven through God. When you truly feel remorse and you truly feel sorry for something, he can see that and feel that in your heart. So all you have to do today, if you go across the internet and you find a video or you stumble on somebody's ideas that don't resonate with yours, you don't need to attack them or force your opinion upon them. Just let them live their life. Let them learn their lessons. Let them have their experiences. And if you do feel the need to present some type of commentary to another, give them forgiveness and give them acceptance. And I'm particularly speaking to Christians here or people who claim to be Christian, because I will say that 80% of the attacks that I receive on a daily basis are coming from people who claim to be Christians. And I say claim, for a very good reason, because if they truly, truly were a Christian person in their heart, they would not attack another, they would not judge another, they would completely and utterly forgive and accept them. And there's many more verses that, that echo this meaning, that echo this understanding. I will read one last one before I wrap up this video today. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 31 through 32 and it says get rid of all bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you there's so many more examples of unconditional love and forgiveness that come out of this book that I just really encourage each and every one of you to just open it up and just take a little read. Regardless if the Bible is changing with the Mandela effect or not, perhaps there's a level of the Bible changing that it is changing back to the way that it was before it was manipulated. Maybe we will soon see more truths in our Bibles than we ever have before. And so I will end this video in saying that I actually do love each and every one of you that watch these videos, even the ones that attack me, because it proves to me that I'm doing something to make a difference in this world, whether you agree with it or not. I accept all people. I forgive all people. And I love all people, truly, because I know that every single human being is actually created equal in the eyes of God. We are all perfect children. And I love each and every one of you. I will never stop spreading the truth. They could shut down my YouTube channel today and I will still keep writing books. I've got backup YouTube channels if they ever try to shut me down. We're in the age of information and technology, so there is no way to stop our truth. 